I'm back. And discussing Geeholic. He's back! So, you might be wondering, uh, hey, who the fuck are Geeholic? Well, that's what I'm here to explain to you today. D-Holic was a K-pop group that debuted on October 23rd, 2014 under Star Road Entertainment, with a lineup consisting of Rina, Hami, Nine, Dunby, and Duty. And on theme for Spooky Month, the quintet debuted with the single album D-Holic Dark with Dignity, which consisted of the promotional track I Know, which I believe was super cool, and the B-side Without You. The debut was a flop. The girls unfortunately did not even get to chart on the circle chart with either song. Ladies would then have no activity until July 8th, 2015, when they came back with the EP Chewy, which would go on to be their best charting release, peaking at number 19 on the circle charts. Sadly, shortly after their little Chewy era ended, nine left, specifically in August of 2015, citing personal reasons for why she left. She was then replaced by member Hwajung. The girls would go on to return on November 12th of that same year with the single album Murphy and Sally, consisting of the title track by the same name and the b-side Just That Much. This release would also go on to chart, however significantly lower, peaking at number 33. This release would also end in sad news, however, as shortly after Murphy and Sally promotions ended in 2016, Dunby and Duty would also depart the group. Shortly after the departure of Dunby and Duty, the group saw the arrival of EJ, the replacement member for the two that have just left. The now quartet would go on to release Color Me Rat on July 7, 2016, which would, unfortunately, mark the final release for these girls. In February of 2017, Hami and Hwajong announced their departure from the group, being replaced by Nayong and Yujin. However, in July of 2017, EJ announced her departure from the group, and the two newest replacements, Nayong and Yujin, left very shortly after, leaving Rena on her own. As a result, Star Road Entertainment decided to disband the Holic on July 2nd, 2017, with the goal of putting Rena in a group by the end of the year. Honestly, Deholic is one of those groups that just makes me really sad because they deserved way better than they got. It was a group of very talented women. They had a dream and they had the talent to achieve the dream. However, it just didn't happen. Uh, some might wonder if it was because of all of the uh, lineup changes that were occurring and that if they had remained the original quintet, if they would still be active today, but I guess we'll never know. Um, thank you guys for watching and listening to this nerd ramble on about a group that none of y'all knew about <laughs> until now. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!